I'm so glad that we chose Beethoven's Ninth to hold down the airwaves for a while. <laughs> so much better than the Eighth. Ah, yes. Classical music. Ah. Hi. Yeah. Do you ever think about jazz? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Those. Hooligans, so calm over there with their smooth jazz. Hey, look, I know your father and I are having a rough time right now. We'll talk about it one day. <laughs> All right. All right, you can talk about it like that just a little bit, but pretend I didn't indulge you. Well, let me say, I think that classical music has so many values, so many stories to be told, so many good things going on. Jazz. You know, did you know most of jazz is just improvised? <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, classical music is dependable. It will be there when you get home at the end of the day. It will be there until the end of time. Uh, you know that it made dinner. You know that it did the dishes. But jazz, it's like, oh, you know, I'm not feeling it today, honey. You know, mm -hmm. I got home and I looked outside and I saw this tree and I just had to go sit under it for a while. Oh, you're hungry because you were out providing for the family? Oh, oh, we're getting a caller. Oh, um, I guess we'll pause the music. Yeah, we'll pause the music. Um, uh, hi, this is Mary, longtime listener, first time caller. Uh -huh. uh, I just wanted to let you guys know you're still on air. Um, I was wondering, uh, what is your husband's name and where can I find him? You know, um, really, it's the husband of us all. <laughs> the, the earth is my husband. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, we need to take care of the 
and all the music we radio professionals play. And as one of the last studios in the country that still plays our music on vinyls, that is to say vinyls. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've all got a taste of the classical in us, whether it's classic rock, classic jazz, or classical. Mm. So just keep that in mind <laughs> when you uh, eventually make it home tonight. married too young. You know, when the four of us were all in Vegas and we were like, screw it, let's all get married. And then it was like, oh, who should marry who? And I mean, really, you and I could have ended up married on a crazy night like that. <laughs> I, I, I know we rolled dice to see who we were. But you know, there have been deep bonds of love, music, between, between all of us. We, we you know, we were a band back then. We were really a band. We were, we were. I, I mean, literally, obviously, we were a band. But I also mean, there's certain bonds when you're creating something all together, you know, when you're like working towards something. You know, Gerald used to get that. Do, do you ever feel as though, um, do you ever feel as though 
we create while we're on the air. We curate for an audience. If you feel alone, sometimes I feel isolated in the booth, you know, like nobody can hear me outside. Huh. Yeah, you know, like the world is there, like I know they're listening, but in some sense I can't, I can't. Oh, this is really funny. Um, you guys were listening to um, uh, the uh, classical hour. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Benny. I mean, you know I always tune in. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, do you know if Gerald was busy? Probably. Was it really obvious that I was talking about him? You know, when I said no, my husband, no. my name, and like your father to, yeah. You know. But that's the earth, right? Yeah, yeah that's the earth. The earth is, yeah. <laughs> by yourself. You mean it? Yeah. I can play whatever I want. Well, we're the jazz booth, so <laughs> <laughs> the selection's a little limited, but within that, use your instincts. Yeah. A full out. Time slot. One to two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, you've earned it. Uh, now, can you uh, dry some of these? I got them off the floor before your mother wakes up. <laughs> you know, she complains a lot about, you know, parity and equity, but I do a lot when she's not here, not looking, behind the scenes. I mean, yeah, I, I know Kathy, he's, he's supposed to mop from the entrance to the exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're kind of trapping us in. Yeah. Because I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> Good. Now man. that we can't pass this soapy barrier on the floor, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. have the opportunity. Jeez. Do you feel like there is anything that I could be doing that I'm not to be a good father to you and a good husband? I mean, I know it's a lot to put on you. You're still, you know, pretty young. But you're doing so well in your classes that sometimes you, you seem so much older, Kathy. Well, I've been studying Beethoven recently, and mm. I don't know if you know this, but he was actually deaf. Mm -hmm. So he had to write a lot of scores, a lot of beautiful pieces, without truly being able to hear what it sounded like. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's something important about that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able to do the right thing without always waiting and being able to listen. I mean, what if you weren't listening in over our hour the other day when Mom and I were at the station? Then you wouldn't have heard her complaining. Well, she shouldn't have been complaining on air. 
to be fair, and I'm not going to confront Well, we didn't know that we were on the air. Well, but. until that stupid girl Mary called in. First time listener, long time <laughs> listener, first time caller. That's a great impression. <laughs> what an idiot. Um, anyway, I just feel like, I don't know, I have a right to listen and, I mean, I'm never going to confront your mother with this. You know this not my style. But I do like having someone to vent to, so I thank you for that, Kathy. And I thank you for finishing up these dishes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining me for our weekly bocce ball game. Long sport, I love better. Shall I make the initial toss? Certainly, I went last week. <laughs>
what you do, Gerald, it's not about what you do, it's just about who, no, um, PM and hi, um, listeners, all three of you. It's it's my turn. Hi. Um, so I for this special hour I prepared um, some some personal work. Ring 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 ring. It's uh, oh oh I have, I have a caller already. Wow, it's. So one more chance of whoever this could be. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, play some jazz for your Uncle Benny. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Uncle Benny. Uh, well, actually, I'm, I, I, I wrote a song that I'm going to perform in just a second. So hopefully, keep listening, and you're going to be really proud of it, OK? Uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. You're right down the hall. OK. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I should take these calls and then, hello, you're hey, on the air. Hey, hey honey, what you, what you doing? <laughs> oh, you're really gonna like Gerald, this. Gerald, Gerald, don't, don't call her. God, don't shut call up, her right now. Don't call her right now. So as you can see, by the context of that last song, of that last call, um, there, there's a little background information for what this song is about. I call this one, Help. My house will just fall into a park. When sometimes you really like your family, you really like them a lot. And it's really hard when things just fall apart. Oh, yes, they fall apart. Oh, sometimes you really like to come home to a nice, good family. You just want to go in the kitchen and smell the warm bread. But sometimes things just fall apart. Oh, I'm so sad that things are falling ring, ring. apart. Hi. Mary, long time <laughs> person. <laughs> because it's my only option. <laughs> Thank you. Um, here, I'm gonna, 
put my guitar over there. Okay, okay. Just play whatever you want, really. It's fine. You're improv spoken in that. <laughs> the first song, at least, wasn't improvised, okay? I write from the heart.
so little. Hadn't even picked up her first guitar. Oh, hey, I'm just picking up some things in here, some innate things. I heard you playing for Elise. That's an old one. One of the first songs you learned. Just thinking about the old times. Yeah, then you showed me a picture of when we were all happy. <laughs>
Adele's 25. How about that? This is uh, all I asked, and uh, I hope you all cry as much as I have the past. Ring, day. ring, ring, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. But before that, <laughs> caller number one, you're on the air. Oh, and my, would you play turning tables instead? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny how I'm the one turning the tables, and, and here we are. Sure, caller number one, because you are one of my only three listeners. So here's the turning tables. But before that, caller one, sorry, uh, caller two, you're on the air. Hello. Ginseng tea is a joke. No, I'm you're, sorry. You're a cutie. I'm sorry, but ring, it's. Ring, um, ring. Uh, I'm getting ring, another call. Ring. Call number four. You're on the air. Hi, Kathy. You're doing great. Do whatever you want. Don't listen to them. Okay, bye. Thanks, Auntie. Okay, final. Are we ready for Adele? <laughs> is anyone? Is there anything else to say? write the overture. Huh. And then it was the most beautiful thing. His opera got crazy good reviews. And he had just written it the night before. That's like pulling an all-nighter and writing something so last minute that it turning out beautiful. So I guess what I'm saying is that I understand that you guys are waiting till this last minute to figure out what's going wrong with your marriage everything. Maybe you dove in too soon, or I don't know, and that's not my business, but I understand that some things take a little bit longer and have to be a little last minute fixed. But it always works out in the end. It does. Yeah. 
in my room and I was playing classical music and then I just started playing rock and it just felt so right and I was like, I just want to tell Dana about this right now. I just want to tell Dana about everything right now. How are you doing, Dana? What? <laughs>
tour if you're not gonna deal with your feelings. That's the whole point of tour. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, Gerald, Benny and Dana. That's right, this part's a little smudged. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to Snaky Bananas all huh. night last night, and I just miss you guys so much. If you ever go on tour again, please HMU. Uh, I'm living in Lincoln, Nebraska, <laughs> and would love to see you guys perform there. Mary. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's weird because that's not the only one. They arrived in like a batch. Huh. So, I mean, if you want to go on tour, I just wanted you to know if you need that time by yourself, alone, to figure <laughs> things out and just be in music and nature 
and your own soul. <laughs> I mean, I support that. And yeah, I'm just going to do it with Dana. With Dana? But, you know, I mean, you can't do it all with drums and guitar. Uh, yeah, I mean, we learned that the hard way, right? Yeah. Uh, like, I think you would want, like, what? Like a bassist? Bassist. Benny Smooth Pipes. She is such a good composer. She huh. could write her stuff. She writes, we perform. <laughs> Jeremiah, I have to tell you, um, I, I was just outside, and Dana and I just made out for like 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> probably wouldn't have found Dana and Vinny <laughs> as we did. It just would have been part of our Oh shit, um, Kathy needs to be picked up from the radio station. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Two-day tele-
called upon to revive my family's old band, the Snakey Bananas. I want to thank all the Marys, who I may have yelled at earlier, but I want to thank you all so much for sending in your letters, which I hear through the media updates that I get here have, have caused my family to go back in the band business. So I really want to thank everyone from, from my first 1 to 2 p.m. listeners every day to the all of you who listen while I ran this station for the past 48 hours <laughs> by myself. <laughs> If, if I could live stream this, I would show you the garbage can filled with coffee. Coffee cups. <laughs> Fast forward to Nebraska, Kansas. Uh, Nebraska. Nebraska. Lincoln, Lincoln, Nebraska. We're married. Hello, Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> this one. This one. From our album. Test. <laughs> 